Joining us here on WF2 Reports, I'm Jamarcus Gaston, and now to our top story. The sole purpose of this event is to help students encourage Congress to cut carbon emissions by 80% by the year 2050. I'm about to speak with EAG President Colin Hagan about what students can do even when they're not here at an event like Step It Up. Here on the side of the Furman track to watch the Blue Shoes Elite Mile featuring Olympian Alan Webb. I sat down with Dr. Bill Pierce who told me about Alan Webb's spectacular performance here on the track and one major announcement that could mean a new beginning for the Furman track program. While several student organizations, most notably the conservative Students for a Better Tomorrow, were protesting the visit of the comedy quartet of the Kinsey Six here at Furman, on the night of that performance, those student organizations weren't here in McAllister Auditorium. The Furman University senior class made it official last week by presenting a $52,000 check to Lorinda Del Rey, the soon to be owner of this house behind me. Lorinda says that what this house will mean to both her and her boys can be summed up in one word. Lorinda Del Rey looks on as her life is rebuilt, one nail at a time. It's actually um, going to benefit someone's life, and I think this year's senior class is funding and building a habitat home as their senior gift. Lois Montague, president of the Furman chapter of Habitat, says that support has been overwhelming. Um, faculty staff, there are professors out there this morning building right now. Furman's class of 2007 has already raised over forty-four thousand dollars simply by donating their two hundred dollar housing deposits. The Greenville County Redevelopment Authority also contributed a sizable donation to the project. Montague says that seniors were quick to donate their money once they learned about the build. I never really doubted that the senior class would get really enthusiastic about it because... The Furman University senior class made it official last week by presenting a $52,000 check to Lorinda Del Rey, the soon-to-be owner of this house behind me. Lorinda says that what this house will mean to both her and her boys can be summed up in one word. Extra insight and ask my children. Um, what does this house mean to you? And um, I, the, I kept getting one word out of them that was everything. So, thank you. In the spirit of giving and the Year of the Environment celebration at Furman, the class of 2007 will continue to raise extra money to buy environmentally friendly appliances to go along with a certified energy efficient home. And as the seniors prepare to leave their mark at Furman, they will be leaving far more than they know. It means everything to us, stability to us, and thank you. And if the home is truly where the heart is, this home will be filled with the labor of love. This is Jamarcus Gaston reporting for WFTV News. On a campus known for its physical beauty and serenity, there doesn't seem to be anything remotely beautiful about the controversy surrounding bringing the comedy quartet the Kinsey Six to Furman. After three student organizations, FUSAP, RLC, and Eros joined together to pay thousands of dollars to fund the act in which men dress in drag, one group on campus decided to take a stand against the Kinsey Six, saying that the content of their show is not appropriate. And I was watching some video clips last night of, of their, of their um, shows, and it was just, I was overwhelmed. The conservative students for a better tomorrow have even started a petition to allow other students, alumni, and parents the opportunity to show their displeasure with the decision. I think we're approaching 350 right now. So we're, we're heading into some pretty good size numbers. Professors have even gotten involved by creating a petition in support of Kinsey Six saying that the group should be free to program their own events and that, quote, the point of the programming budget is to bring a diversity of programs to campus. This week, the Association of Furman Students hosted an emergency open forum to address student concerns. Each of the three sponsoring organizations were able to speak about the educational benefits of a group like the Kinsey Six. Of sex, sexual orientation, that drag queens are sort of, you know, this subculture of only gay persons, which is not true. We do not have a political agenda, and when we're programming, we're perverted, programming for the diverse campus. There's multiple races, religions, and political views represented at this campus, and as we said, we have to represent all these people and appeal to the entire student body, just not one section. The other students agreed that there is nothing harmful about the group coming to Furman. Might not be the best way necessarily to get people to talk about gay and lesbian rights, but it's a humorous way to do it, which I kind of like things when they're funny, so I'm not against it. Um, I'd have to agree with RLC and FUSAB. I think it just represents a different perspective and one that we don't often see on this campus. There are also those students who agree with the CSBT, who say that their activities fees shouldn't be used to pay the $10,000 bill for the Kinsey Six. 
I personally have a big problem with them spending ten thousand dollars of our money that we pay because it's through FUSAB. If it's another organization or event, that's fine. I believe that's fine, but for Furman to spend our money on that way, it's ridiculous. I think it's a lot of money to spend on people just dressing up weird. While the Association of Furman Students say that the drag show will not be canceled. Now, um, FUSAB and RLC are automatically funded meaning that these events they program are going to occur. The conservative students for a better tomorrow say that they will continue to petition. This is Jamarcus Gaston reporting for WFTV News.